Hey y'all, here we've got the Ambient Weather WS2902 Wi-Fi Smart Weather Station. I bought this on Amazon during uh, Prime Week. It was about 40 bucks off. I think right now it's about $190. And I got it for about 150. So let's open it up, take a look inside. We've got the instructions here. Starts with uh, setting everything up, connecting to the network. I think there is a, a website and an app that you connect to. So this comes with all kinds of uh, sensors. I'll just go through it real quick. We have the whole weather sensor array, the display console with desk stand, wind vane, wind cups, rain channel, rain gauge funnel, rain gauge coil, mounting hardware. And then there's a QR code for the step-by-step uh, -step instructions. And then it just says the tools are a screwdriver and a wrench or a 10 millimeter wrench. Uh, two AA batteries and three AAA batteries. Okay, here's everything that came in the box. Um, it looks really high quality, of course we'll as always, we'll see once we actually set it up and get it working. So just reading off the instructions on what's included. So we've got the display, the power cord for the display, the vein here, the rain collector, the rain gauge coil. I believe this is the stand for the display there. We've got the mounting materials here. So let's start setting it up, see how it works. So we're first going to put the vane on. And you can see it goes on, we'll call it the back right. So there is that flat side. So I'll slide this on. And I did have to back out that set screw. There we go, and then I'm just going to tighten this up. So the vane is on. And you can see it's pointing north. Now we're going to install exact same thing, just that set screw and then slide it on. Now we've got both of those installed, you can see the vein will always try and point north. It has a little damper in it and the cups just spin freely. Now we're going to head over to work on the uh, rain gauge funnel. Here's the funnel installed, you just have to push down and turn clockwise and now we're going to Put in the coil, you just have to push it in until it just sets right there, and it's like a little filter. So it just hooks on the underside of the funnel. Okay, now we've got our three AAA and our two AA batteries ready to install. There we go, just slides open, a little bit of pressure. There we go, red LEDs on, we got power. That's it for the battery on the sensor. I see this whole thing is a sticker, that makes sense. And now let's set up the display. And this note just says to register on the ambient weather network. Positive goes left. And we're actually, so batteries are in, we have power, and we're actually going to plug it in. Okay, let's go through the setup together. Okay, there we go. Now we're in uh, the settings. Now let's see, how do I, there we go. So plus and minus, I'll turn off the beep. I assume we press set again. None of this is in the setup that's uh, listed in the instructions. I think we're minus six here in central. 12 hours. 
Let's see, what time is it? 5.10 on the 18th. It's flashing through the moon phases. That's really cool. I actually don't know how to go back because now the time is wrong. I'll have to go back and change that. The pressure. I'll just leave it there. Light. Three different options. Degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius. Miles per hour or knots or meters per second. Kilometers per hour. There we go. And inches of rain. You can do inches, millimeters, inches. Moon phases. Okay, that's everything. Let me change the time again. So we've got everything set up. Now I just need to connect to Wi Fi. Connecting the weather station console to Wi Fi. So we've got everything set up in here. And now all that's left is to head outside and install the U-bolts that were provided onto a pole that's not provided. So here in the instructions, page 39, it shows the steps. So first, we'll take uh, one of the U-bolts and there's just one spot that this gets guided into. And then this little bracket, we'll put it with the, the L portion. It'll be towards the bottom once it's mounted. Okay, so we have both the U-bolts on the weather station. So here's the pole and the mounting bracket that I'm gonna mount onto the shed. So I'm gonna go put this bracket on first. I'll tighten the weather station onto the pole, and then I'll attach the pole and the weather station onto the bracket. All right, here's the bracket mounted to the peak of the outside of the shed. The weather station, just hand tightened with the two U-bolts and this plate. And I did realize that there's a little slot in the weather station for the plate to slide into. So I'm gonna mount this up to the bracket and I'll make sure it's level both uh, vertically and horizontally and show you what it looks like. And here is the final product. Completely mounted on the shed. And we've got the two bolts. And it's pointed north. It's level every direction so there we have it i'll link uh everything down below if you want to check it out hope you enjoyed thanks for watching